Okay, so I'm guessing most of you, unlike Mr. Bright, don't have endless bits of graph paper kicking around at home. And so you're probably thinking, oh, I wish I didn't have to draw this graph out longhand. So if you fancy uh, trying to be a little bit whizzy with your tech, uh, here's how I've tried to draw these graphs. Now, it's not perfect. Can't draw a smooth curve on Word, but here's how I'm going to draw it, get as close as possible. Hopefully, you've already filled in this column so that, that in fact, this is the one Mr. Bright did. So we've already filled in this column. Uh, I can't write it on the screen because that's a picture. But what I'm going to do is try and recreate the graph that Mr. Bright drew on here using Word and you can do something similar. So firstly, I'm going to click up here on shapes. I'm going to find the closest thing I can find to a cross. Now, I reckon this multiplication sign down here is pretty decent. So I'm going to click on that and put a really fairly small cross because I don't want it to be big down there. Uh, and what I'm just going to do now is press Control C, which means that I've copied that cross. And every time I want a new one, I'm just going to press Control V. So you press Control V and look, another one's turned up. Now I'm just going to drag them into the right places. So the first cross Mr. Bright put on was at 30, 12. So there's 10, there's 12. Now obviously it's not perfect. That cross is quite big, but needs must. And in the current situation, you probably will be grateful not to have to draw this out. His next cross was at 40, 42. So I'm just going to put that in. Press Control V for another cross. Put that one in. He put that at 50, 70. So I'm just going to put that there. Uh, Control V gets me another cross. And that one's at 92. Control V for another cross. Obviously, if you can't manage the Control V thing, you can just go back to the shapes place and pick up another cross, but then they might be slightly different sizes. And one more cross for the one he put down to say there's no data before 20. So you can see that without too much trauma, I've created really quickly. Uh, the crosses that he created. Next up, I can't make a smooth curve, so that is a bit of a compromise. I'm just going to put lines in instead, and for now that'll do. And obviously you need to remember when you go back to school and you're drawing this freehand, you're going to do it with smooth curves. But for now, this is a pretty quick way to do that. So how did I do that? I went up here and this is still there from when I used the cross. If it isn't, go back to insert shapes and you'll find it's there. Look. And then just click on, whoops, don't do that. That's me being useless. Let's try again. So click on the line and start joining the crosses. Remember, if you're doing this with a pencil, you want to be doing it freehand with a smooth curve. But in the interests of you not taking three hours to draw one graph, that's a fairly good approximation. OK, next up again, I'm going to show you how to do something similar. When he found the quartiles, how can I do something very similar to that? Well, I'm just going to do the same thing that he did, but again, just with my line tool. So he had 60 people, wanted to put a line in at 30, and I'm just going to draw that line in there. Obviously, it would be better if it was straight. And I think if I just use my up arrow key, I can get that in line with where I want it straight down from the curve like he did. And again, if I'm slightly off, I've just used my arrow tool to make that a bit better. His lower quartile, well, 60 divided by four was 15. So I'm going across from here. And his upper quartile was at 45. And obviously I'm doing this really quickly as an example for you. And my lines aren't very straight. And if you're gonna do this properly, do it decently and get your lines straight. So. That one there is irritating me slightly, so let's just straighten that one up a bit. Uh, but hopefully that gives you an idea of actually that you could fairly quickly reproduce that on the Word document we've sent you without having to spend ages trying, whoops, without having to spend ages trying to reproduce it.